Hello everybody, this is Dacker13, and in this video I will be showing you on what I think are the top 10 must-have Cydia tweaks and applications for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. But before we get on to the top 10, I would like to ask you all to please check out and subscribe to my new gaming channel called Spirals Gaming. You should see an annotation on the screen now, so once again, I would appreciate it if you could all could Go to that channel and click the subscribe button. It would really help me out. I will also have a link in the description down below. So now let's get on to the rest of the video. So at number 10 is a tweak called Infinity Folders. And right now you can currently buy it for 99 cents from the Big Boss repo. So by default within iOS 4, Whenever you create an application, well not an application, whenever you create a folder, there's a limit of applications that you can have inside of each folder, and that is 12. Now, what Infinity Folders does is it allows you to have unlimited applications in every folder. So, before I was jailbroken, and I used to use a lot of folders, I typically found myself making multiple folders just for like games or just for utilities but if you install infinity folders it will let you put unlimited applications in one folder and it just lets you scroll as you can see there so at number nine is a tweak called gridlock and once again this is from the big boss repo and you can buy it for 99 cents and I really like this tweak because it really allows you to customize your home screen in a really unique way so normally as you guys know when you drag an application when you hold them down so they shake and you drag it somewhere else it will snap it back up to the top of the screen so it's the next application um, in front of the next one now with this tweak as you can see it lets you put your applications anywhere on the screen and it makes it so it does not snap right back to the grid and it just has a whole bunch of blank spots and this tweak does not use any blank icons at all so at number eight is another tweak called picture me currently it is one dollar and ninety nine cents from the big boss repo and it adds two great new features to the default camera application on your iDevice so the first feature it adds is a timer so you can set a time before the camera takes a picture and you can also do rapid shots you can make it take multiple pictures in a in a short amount of time so as you can see when you have this tweak installed and you open up your camera app there's an arrow right there and you got two features you got timer and rapid shot as you can see there so if you turn timer on you can choose how many seconds of delay you want so I'm gonna do six and let's try this out and as you can see it just takes the picture So then you can turn on rapid shot and you can choose how many pictures you want it to take and when you turn it on I'll just show you to you here. And that's basically what this tweak does is it allows you to have those two features in the default camera app. So at number seven we have a really cool tweak called barrel. Currently, you can download this from the Big Boss repo, and it does cost $2.99, but I think it is definitely worth it. So, everyone has seen this tweak before. If you haven't, then basically what it does is it adds, it lets you put in your own page transitions for when you scroll across page to page. As you can see there, it kind of looks like I'm inside a cube when I'm going from page to page, and this tweak comes with lots of different options. So, here's another example. I can't remember what this one is called, I think it's Icons Exploding, but it comes with like 20 different transitions and you can customize it to whatever you like and it looks really cool and it's a great thing to show your friends. So at number 6 is a tweak called Voice Activator and once again it is from the Big Boss Repo and unfortunately it does cost $4.99 and but I think it's worth it because it is really cool. So as you all know, when you hold down the home button on a newer generation device, it opens up voice controls. Now with this tweak, when you go to your settings application, you can create your own commands. So I'll just show you an example here. Open Fave App. So you can set your own custom commands to pretty much do whatever you want, like open and 
in application. As you can see there, I said something and it opened up Cydia. So at number five is a tweet called Rich Text for Mail. And currently you can download this from the Big Boss repo for $4.99. And what it allows you to do is when typing an email to somebody, you can completely format the text. So you can make it bold, you can make it underlined, you can make it italicized, you can change the color, you can you can pretty much do anything with this. And normally in the mail app you can't customize it at all. But when you get this tweak, you can format it, and when people view it from their computer, it will look exactly as you format it. So you can change the font size, I'll change it to 26. You can change even the font, so I'm just going to change it to something random. You can also change the text color, and it's got a whole bunch of colors as you can see there. So I'll just put it on red. And on the highlight color, you can even change that too which is pretty cool and you can make it bold, italic or underline. I'm just going to make it bold and italic and that's what it will look like and when the peep when whoever you're sending it to gets the email on the computer, it will look like that. So at number 4 is an application called Winterboard and currently this is from the Cydia repo and it is free. Now, some of you may be wondering why isn't this number 1 on your top 10 list? And the reason why it's not number 1 is because I don't use it on my iPhone. Personally, it slows down my device way too much that I really don't want to use it. To tell you the truth, guys, a lot of people say jailbreaking makes your device slower. It's not really that. If you don't have Winterborn in your device, then your device will not run slow at all. So basically, if you don't know what it already does, it allows you to get themes on your device, as you can see there. But I don't use the application. At number three is an app called iFile, and currently it is from the Big Boss repo for $4. And basically what it is, is it's a file manager and viewer. So you know, like when you SSH into your device and you can look at all the different folders and directories and you can change, edit all the files and everything. Well, basically iFile is the exact same thing, but you can do all of that directly from your device. You can view all the system files, the system picture, pictures, you can view the system code, the code for applications, and you can change a ton with that application. At number two is an app called Package Backup, and currently it is $7.99 in the Big Boss repo, but I think it is definitely worth it. So as you guys all know, whenever you have a jailbroken device, you're going to be restoring it a lot and re-jailbreaking, and it's really a pain to reinstall all of your tweaks and themes. So what this application does is it shows all of your packages that you have currently downloaded from Cydia, and what you can do is when you press the backup button, it will back up all of the stuff and when you restore and read jailbreak if you download package backup again then you can restore the previous backup and everything that you put on the backup will go back onto your device so number one is SB settings and currently it is free from the big boss repo this is a must-have for every single jailbroken device if you're new to jailbreaking you definitely need to install SB settings if you don't already know what it is which I'm guessing most of you out there already know it's basically a bar that is activated when you swipe the taskbar and it shows a whole bunch of common toggles that are extremely useful for your jailbroken device. So you got a ton of stuff like turning off Wi-Fi, the brightness, you even got some more options and just has a lot of useful stuff. So that's about it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to thumbs up the video by clicking the like button, leave a comment down below, and also please subscribe. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my second YouTube channel, and subscribe to my gaming YouTube channel. I will have those three links in the description down below. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video, and see you all later.